These are moments where rude cops got owned, so let's begin. This homeowner opened his door to several police officers surrounding him with all sorts of accusations. He had no intention on talking to the officers and they had no legal right to come into his home, which they still did. This person then had a total meltdown towards him as they wouldn't leave, even though he had asked them several times. Tensions then rose when he got quite aggressive towards him. Let's have a look. What do you want to sort out? What have so we, we not sorted here. out? We sort it. It's a landline. Okay. Okay. No, there's no landline here. But there's still one registered to this house. So what do you want me to do for you? So there, we solved with a nine. Okay. So get the out now. No, no, sir. You just slammed the door at me. Get the out of the house. You don't close the door on the police. I don't give. I have no right to enter. We do actually. No, you don't. It's a warrantless entrance. So get the out. Get out. What's your name? Get out. I'm not giving you nothing. Get out. We need your name. Yeah, you're not gonna get it. Get out. Have I committed a crime? Am I suspected of committing a crime? I have a Fourth Amendment right, bro. Don't trample my rights. You're not going to get ID. Sir, you do have a right. Let's go. We need your name so you can record. Not going to get it. You want us to record that we were out here? What happened? Not right? going to get it. Okay, so when they call 911 again, you want them to come knock you on your door again. I want to record that we came here, we spoke with you, we confirmed that everyone in the house... Not going to get it. nobody's number. Not going to give it. That is no longer Not going to house. give you my information because of what you did with the door. Take your pompous prick out of the house. That's it. This police officer was caught parking on private property multiple times. The problem is that he's parked on the top floor and if there was an emergency, it takes at least 5 minutes to leave this parking spot and get down back onto the base floor. In a state of an emergency, this is obviously too long to get down there and he also has no right to park there, so let's have a look at what he has to say. Just know that this is not the first time I caught you guys up here and this guy refuses to identify, it's fine. I've gotten cops in trouble for that, sir. Benitez, five five seven. Don't come up to me aggressively, sir. Don't come up to me aggressively. Do you need any, do you need any help? But don't come up to me aggressively, sir. Do you need any now help? you're gonna get in trouble with professional compliance. Do you need any sir. help? I, or are you just here to badger us? I'm here to ex ex expose corrupt police that are hiding on the roof. During an emergency, it takes you over five minutes to get out of this garage. You understand? So you guys can't park up here. I'm gonna report this to the department. You guys need to park on the first floor. Have a nice day. Because during an emergency, it takes super long to get out of here. You're gonna get caught in traffic. Sir, I have every right to do this. First Amendment protected activity. This guy has a skinhead cop haircut, the worst haircut in America. The mo the scariest haircut if you're a black person, the skinhead cop haircut. Super disrespectful. He came up to me in an aggressive manner. He has gang tattoos everywhere. I have the First Amendment right to- This man was detained because apparently he was riding his bicycle on the wrong side of the road. This actually isn't illegal and he can't be detained or fined for this, which this officer refuses to believe, stating that he's the officer and the civilian will listen to him. He was in for a big surprise when the civilian knew more than him, so let's have a look. What are you riding me up for? You're riding your bike on the wrong side of the road. It's against the law. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. I'm the one who is the cop and you're not. I'm telling you this. All right, Title go ahead. 75. Please see me. No, I'm not me. giving you nothing. Okay, well, then you have to come up with the ad. <laughs> you're you're not, bro, you're not taking me nowhere. Well. Bro, you're not taking me nowhere. 41, 41, 9. I need your assistance. Uh, go ahead. On, uh, bro, have you touch plate. me? Don't touch me, bro. Yo, give me my bike. No, I'm not. Give me my I'm bike. rusting your you're going into give me my bike bro give me my you're bike going to an interview yeah right there let me see your id for what this cameraman was harassing this officer and also police station. He helped himself into their office as he said that he had business there, which he didn't. And that's when this sergeant came out and completely humiliated him when he schooled him in front of his own camera. For some reason, he then thought it was a good idea to post this online, which it wasn't. So let's have a look. Well, can I get your name, please? But, so, until you identify yourself, that's just a costume uh, to me. Uh, see? That's just a costume. I, I have to identify myself, because but you, you don't have to? Because you, you uphold you the law. You're a law enforcement. I'm not a law enforcement. If you I wasn't... read my name, and it's on what if, camera what right if, now. What if I couldn't read? What if I couldn't read? That's just a costume. Until it's, you identify yourself to me as a police officer, I can buy that on I can buy that on eBay. You've already so you know I'm a police officer. Uh, well, I noticed you've your already, stripes. You've already acknowledged I've acknowledged that you're... That you've you're already, I acknowledge that you're pretending to be a sergeant. It's annoying to go in and serve. I mean... It's very annoying. But I'm just I think I, I found my constitutional rights being but violated. I just you, know, you don't think you violated anything by going to unauthorized areas? I did not building? go in unauthorized areas. I did not. Now, I went into camera. public. Okay. It's all on camera. Exactly. So I'm I'm just going to tell you, you could be arrested for possible trespassing, going into unauthorized areas, especially after leaving fake information. That's not none, none, none of those not, are none of those are crimes. But I'm just like, trespass. 
I wasn't I wasn't in a restricted area. There has oh. to be notice. Well, like I said, you know the law, Sergeant. There has yeah. to be notice like or said, a sign. Cameras, but if you're caught, but if there's no sign, listen. Apparently, you don't like reading signs because you already passed these signs that no. you say there's no policies. But you, there are many signs. You walk. Past you do not have to give. You do not have to give your ID. So how can a public just Sergeant? Just think rationally for a minute. How can how can they demand me to produce ID when you, as a sergeant of a police department, have no authority to demand ID from me? Does that make sense to you? Come on, let's think Actually, logically here. A, it, this is a facility with closed doors that you it's, are probably it's, trying to get to. It's a closed it's, doors. It's, These are open to the public. I have business to conduct here. What, what business? I have to fill out FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act with the town clerk. But did you go do that? I was going did you, to. Did you go? Did I, you go straight to that office? I got stopped by your officers. Did you go straight to that office? No. This homeowner noticed that several police officers were trying to come through his gate. He then informed them through the top balcony window that they would not be accessing his property and to close the gate and get off it immediately. This left them pretty humiliated as it was such a tiny gate and they couldn't legally open it and they claimed all they wanted to do was have a chat with him which he tried to do through his balcony. Let's have a look. Now can I help you? Chat from there? No you don't. Got a warrant? Have you got a warrant? Have you got a warrant? No, you haven't. You're not pursuing a suspect. I know the laws, so just go away. You can speak to me here, perfectly fine. I can hear you, you can hear me. Well, I'm asking you politely to leave Thank, because excuse me. you're I... causing me distress and alarm. Who told you? Excuse you. Who told you? Leah, come round the back, darling. And no, you're not coming through my back door. Come on. No. I, listen, I am not letting the police in my house. Right, and there's a reason for it. And if you go and check at Swinton Police Station, you'll know why. Okay, last time you me over. Yeah, social services got me arrested when my latest child was born because the hospital right. f***ed up. The only way you're going to be arrested today is if you've been off or you're obstructed from coming to your address. We have to come into your address at Section 17 of Peace. I'm just telling you, we do have the power to. I'm not planning on coming in and locking you up. You just need to check on your kids. That's it. I don't believe you. This driver was caught going almost 30 miles per hour over the legal speed limit. Instead of the police officer throwing the book at this driver, he decided to give him a break and instead taught him a very valuable lesson and was actually pretty cool about it. Let's have a look. You videotaping me? Yeah, that's some knowledge you gave me right now. Alright. Yeah, I'm good, brother. Listen. Yeah. Tyler, this is for you, brother. I gave you a break today. I didn't give you 92 and a 65. I gave you a ticket for not having your driver's license possession. You could have got two tickets today. But here's the thing. I don't like to see young kids out here doing what they're doing and not paying attention to what they're doing. Okay? Tired of reading about them in the paper. 19, 20-year-old killed because they weren't paying attention to what they're doing. This could have been one of those cases, Tyler. Wake up. If you don't wake up, you ain't going to wake up. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I hope so. Let's not go through this again. Several police officers showed up at this lady's door claiming that there was illegal activity on her premises and for this reason wanted to search it immediately. Unluckily for the officer though, this woman knew her rights and told them that unless they had a warrant, they would not be entering her home, let alone searching it. This left several officers humiliated when they thought that they could get in and try to pin something on this woman, which wasn't going to happen. Let's have a look. We're here as we received a complaint that there's criminal activity going on at your residence. <laughs> so... Okay. What we have to do, anytime we get a complaint, we have to investigate and say that it's either unfounded or that something, you know, confirmed that information. Okay. So what kind what, of criminal activity? So it could be that, you know, drugs are being sold from this location. Okay. Or that drugs are inside of the location, that type of thing. Okay. So what I want to do today, ma'am, is take a look inside. No, you're not going to take a look inside. Okay. You got a search warrant? No, ma'am, and, and that's okay. what I'm going to speak to you about. And you're not going to take a look inside. Okay. That's not going to happen. Okay. Well, let me explain to you kind of our process so you're aware of what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. We receive a complaint. We investigate it. Okay. If, you know, it's unfounded, we're out of your hair. You never have to deal with us ever again. It is unfounded. There's but, no drugs in my house. I have two kids. I'm disabled. Right. My husband is at work right now. Okay. Nobody you? here has a criminal record. I have no okay. criminal record. My I husband understand. has no criminal record. We just moved here from okay. across the street. I've okay. lived over there for five years. 
I just moved over here last month. Sure. So, no, you're not. If you give me a search that. warrant, you can come on in and look and, all around you want. This is the thing. It's not a problem. Our process for when we have a search warrant is SWAT comes, busts down the door, That's goes fine. through things. That's well, fine. I don't want to have to do that. Because when, nothing's, I, when y'all okay. damage my stuff and y'all find nothing, you're going to pay me, so it's fine. This police officer was intimidating this woman by harassing her and following her as well. The reason being is apparently this officer had his feelings hurt and wanted to detain this woman over it. She tried to tell him to leave her alone, which he refused to do, stating that she can't tell him what to do before walking her down and trying to detain her. Let's have a look. Tell me why you pull, why he's being arrested. Can you not? Let me talk to you. You can talk to me. Stay right there. You don't tell me where to stop. Please don't okay. back into What's me. your name? Okay, so... What's going on right now is I was here waiting for a coffee and your boyfriend comes back to me very close and he goes, hey, look what it is, it's a pig. And I was like, excuse me. No, he doesn't have cops. Okay, what if I came up to your boyfriend or you and called your name? And then we go, oh my God, my feelings got hurt and I walked away. And guess what? Guess and what? I said, can I help you? He goes, Tell me no. where it's illegal to say that you, I'm sorry, I don't think you're a pig, but tell me where it's illegal to well, say that. Well, it started to be a harassment when he starts to barrage. Okay, we'll make we'll make it a day. We'll we'll see what we can do because we can't have him going around cops you, and calling people names and be disorderly. Because you can't handle anybody saying something mean about you. Not just me. Probably everybody else he's run into. Yeah, because he's had a lot of bad issues with cops. This gentleman actually had the police called on him because he was parked in front of somebody's house. This officer then pulled him over to find out what was going on and was shocked to find that the person in his own car didn't have to explain himself to the officer. This left the officer quite confused and wasn't sure what to say about the situation as he wasn't doing anything illegal, just simply sitting in his car. He soon then lost his patience and tensions rose, so let's have a look. Can I help you? Yeah, we got a call about a suspicious vehicle in the area and it matches his description. What's suspicious? Uh, he said you've been parked in front of his house. He, you were parked in front of his house for about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah? Is that suspicious? Yeah, that, it's kind of strange. What's going on? Nothing. Just sitting in my car. Okay. Do you live here? It doesn't matter. This is public. Okay. You got your ID on you? I'm not getting ID'd. I haven't committed a crime. Why would you I need my ID? Because I... This is a, a private, a this is a pretty quiet neighborhood. Okay, is this a public place or, or a private place? It is a public road, correct. Okay. Thank you. Am I, have I committed a crime by sitting here? No. Okay. Then I would not like to ID myself because it's my right to not ID myself. What, what, what is the issue here? There is no issue. I'm over here minding my own business, sitting in my car, and you're coming up to me. Correct, because yes. I'm getting a call. It about doesn't you matter if you get a call. I've done nothing illegal. People can call all they want. Do you call? Do you, you run out and talk to everybody that's parked in their car? Uh, when they've been sitting in front of a house for an hour and a half, I generally do. This Lyft driver showed up to this location to pick up a passenger only to be greeted by a law enforcement officer. The law enforcement officer stated that it was illegal for him to be there but also wouldn't let him leave when he took down his license plate and detained him. This officer then went on a complete power trip refusing to get his supervisor and tried talking down to this Lyft driver who was only there to pick up a passenger and was given the address by the application on his phone. Let's have a look. Don't want to comply. Sir, I'm a Lyft driver. I was directed to come to this location to pick up a passenger. Can I get a supervisor? Can I get a, a supervisor, please? Yeah, give me a supervisor. Uh, I want your supervisor. I am the supervisor. I want your supervisor. You have a supervisor? I would like to speak to you. I am the supervisor, sir. That's nice. I would like a supervisor, please. This is the location that was shown to me on Lyft pickup. I told you and you I was be down here and then you kept telling me that you didn't want to be down here. So I don't want to be here. I want to pick up my passenger and move on. Leave. You told me you weren't leaving. I didn't say I wasn't going to leave. I said bye. You didn't say bye. That's, that's the I time. said bye. That's Just the standing right there. You said I said bye. I'm fine with it. I'm good. I got all day, baby. I'm here to pick up one of your employees. She said to pick up at the employee parking lot. She said it was an employee parking lot. This is the area that I was directed to drive to, sir. 
this officer actually pulled over this person for literally no reason and was in for a big shock when he realized that the person he had pulled over knew more about the law than him. The person who was pulled over refused to give over any information before mocking the police officer telling him to search the car, knowing it was illegal without a search warrant. There was then some bickering back and forth between each other as they tried to outsmart each other. Let's have a look. You don't have any drugs? Do you have any drugs or anything in the car, sir? Yeah, you want me to search the car? Uh, I'm all right. I'm not gonna search the you car, huh? If you, I mean, if you want to give me consent to search your car, that's fine. Are you a law enforcement officer? I'm asking you. You're, you're, you're saying that? But I mean, if you give me consent, do I have to be? You're not, dude. No. You know the law. So can I search your car? Yeah, come on, search it. Jump in. Jump in. <laughs> what? What? I can't hear you. You're whispering. You're being a clown. Oh, okay. You're the one that came up to me. Cause I work here, partner. I don't care. So go to work. You work here? So what go are you to doing work. Here? So go to work. Videotaping? Go to work. I am working. What's your name? So, so you're Sergeant working. Sergeant Lomangino. What? Sergeant Lomangino. Sergeant Lomangino. Badge number? 1363. 1363. What's your name, sir? I'm not going to tell. No. No, no. I didn't no. think you were going to. I'm not to. going to, no. No. Not, not That's cool. Else. What are you working on? What are you working on, Loman? Nothing else to do, huh? Obviously, you have nothing else to do. So you sure you don't have nothing illegal in the car? This recording actually came to this police station looking for trouble. He started recording all of the officers coming in and out of the building before obviously a few of them came to talk to him. They stated that it wasn't legal for him to record, which it was, so he sat there and did just that. That got these officers quite confused when they jumbled around with the law and wasn't sure what to tell him to get off the premises. Let's have a look. This is not part of the property. Put your camera down, please. So this is, are you, are you a law enforcement officer? You are not allowed to take pictures or videotape this. I'm not you allowed to go take... on the street and do the same thing. But this is public property, sir. No, it's not. This is state property. Can I know who you are? Right now, the police are being called because you're trespassing. Trespassing, you have to have criminal intent. I don't have any criminal Please intent. Leave. I'm not engaging in criminal activities. That's what trespassing comes okay. with in Wisconsin. Right now, you are. You do. You Radio have recording. no authority. You have no authority you outside of the, outside of that camera. outside where you just left. That's where your authority okay. ended. Okay. Put the camera. You're not law enforcement. You're not law enforcement, so I have to leave the property because I'm recording peacefully? Yes. You can go out on the road and record. Are you a law enforcement officer? Who are you? I'm What's your name? I'm a supervisor here. What's your name? Okay, I don't have to tell you that. What's your name? My name is uh, Angel Tony. I'm a security director. I need you to go off of the state property. What's your yeah. name, sir? I already said it. Now you need to go out on... I just want to get your name before I leave. I did already. It's recorded, right? Yeah, sure, so sure. I need you to step off of state property. Are you law enforcement? We had notified law enforcement. Near okay, so... This young man was awoken during his sleep to several officers surrounding his home. They were looking for his brother and demanded information from him that he didn't have to give them. The These officers were shocked when this young man knew his law and didn't give the officers the information they were looking for. Let's have a look. Come on out. Gotta see who else is in here. Nobody? You can't come in there. That's fine. Here's the deal. You obstructed your, your brother who is on a felony right now. Okay, you obstructed it. You can go to jail for that. Do you understand that? How? You knew because he was in here. You knew he was in no, here. No, I didn't. Because when future. you knocked on the door, I had just woke up. You knew Why do you think you know something? You knew he was in here. No, I did not. Yes, you did. How you gonna tell me what I know? He, here's the How you gonna tell me what I know? Answer that question first. I, I, I'm waiting. Come on. Okay. I had just woke up. Exactly. Here's you can't, you can't do nothing, bro. You ain't got a warrant. You can't. You can't do nothing. Hey, hey, bro. All right. Hey, bro. First of all, don't be disrespectful. Don't be old, bro. Do something. I don't. What? Where's your idea? What do you mean ID? I'm 13. You're 13? Where's yes. mom at? I don't know. Her boyfriend right. house. We'll call your mom up real quick. This recording was outside of a police station recording the property when a police officer confronted him. The police officer wasn't happy that he was there and thought it was illegal to be recorded when in fact it was public property outside. The recording then continued his day by recording outside, which he was legally allowed to, which sent this cop into a total meltdown when he tried to confiscate the camera and get him off the property immediately, which wasn't going to happen. Let's have a look. This is how you act with the public? You're not supposed to record, my man. I can record whatever I want. No, you can't. I'm yes, telling. I can. Okay, I'm telling right. you. Okay. It's a federal law. All right, know your gonna laws. Find out. Okay. Find out. We're gonna find I just out, came from the front of the building. All right. We're going to find they out. They tried the same thing doing right now. Okay. We're going to find out. My All man. right, Snowflake. We're going to find out. Why are you out here melting like We're that? We're going to find out. When Look. you get done with you, you're going to be melting. <laughs> you're a funny guy. You know that, right? 
Always, always gotta have. Money. This is what I do. Camden County Police Station. They know who I am. Okay. All right. Exactly, because okay. I'm recording, doing my First Amendment right. It's a protected activity by the Constitution of the United States of America. If he doesn't like it, walk back inside. Leave. Do your job. It's a, it, your safety risk has nothing to do with my constitutional right. Well, you understand what I'm saying? Like you have a constitutional right, we have a constitutional Listen, right. this is a one consent party. <laughs> call you want. Nice. Call Sergeant um Sergeant May. Yeah, call Sergeant May down here. Hey. Thanks for watching guys and if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.